about. Um, my name is Bruce Rosenblum, director here at the Center of Excellence in Teaching and Learning, and today we're going to have a very interesting workshop on immigration and visa status. And I know a lot of you are directly impacted by that. Um, let me just make a couple of notes. There are attendance sheets flowing around. If you'd be so kind as to fill that out, that would be much appreciated. That's how we justify the uh, food expense. Um, in addition, we've been working very closely with the grants office and, and Greenberg here and Regina Masterson and a number of other people in the office and um, generally the grants workshops are the best attended of all our series so we really appreciate the uh, Office of Research Administration and what they've been doing. So I'm going to uh, let uh, Adam introduce the speaker and uh, he's going to take it away and uh, feel free to ask questions at the end of the uh, workshop also. So welcome and Adam, thank you for taking it away. Hi, like Bruce said, I'm Adam Greenberg, I'm the Assistant Director of Research Administration. Um, I'm not going to do much talking. All I want to say is um, next week on Thursday at 12 o'clock we'll be back here for a presentation on managing your grant money. So any PIs that want to come to that or any of um, the employees want to <laughs> tell your PIs about that, it would be great if they come to learn how to navigate the research foundation forms and e-services. Um, so come to that. Um, First, I want to introduce Clark Lands. He is the field service representative from Research Foundation. If anyone saw me a year or two ago, that was my old position. Clark's here from RF. He's here Wednesdays and Thursdays. Um, he's going to do some talking, and then I'm going to bring up Victoria Donahue and Regina Doki, who will do the presentation on the visa status. So, Clark. Hi. Um, yeah, as Adam said, I'm Clark Lands. Um, I pretty much do the same thing that Adam did when he worked before he uh, became the assistant. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, Clark Lance. I am the field services representative. I actually float around CUNY. Um, I serve three schools all together, and I, as Adam said, I'm here on Wednesdays and Thursdays. Um, I basically, for those of you that are dealing with the Adam, I'm kind of like the Portable Research Foundation. Um, I just, uh, you know, I. I cover all different departments. Um, I'm primarily based in client services. Um, I do a lot of stuff with new hire and things with new hires and things like that, and payroll and benefits. But I know a lot about the other areas as well. Um, today, I just want to do uh, just a little bit of uh, housekeeping. Um, the RF does uh, have mandatory has mandatory sexual harassment prevention training. Uh, some of you may have completed it in the past. Uh, but if you haven't, you should take it uh, as soon as possible because it is mandatory. I'm going to pass this around. It's two-sided. The first side is just a message from Richard Rothbard, the president of the RF. And the second side um, tells you uh, about there, there are three different options when you go on. Um, and just real briefly, if you're an RF employee um, and you log on to the RF website using a six-digit employee ID number that starts with zero, uh, you'll click on the link non-supervisory RF staff. Um, and, and also with, uh, with this, it's very important that you have your employee ID number handy uh, because you'll be asked for it at the end. I want everybody to get credit for it, so having your employee ID number is the best way to do that. Um, and then for those of you who don't have an employee ID number, um, but if you're like a PI or an um, authorized signatory, if you can access web reports and things like that, um, there is a separate training. Uh, it's a su supervisory staff. Um, please have your three character user ID. It's, it's either, it's, it's a combination of alpha and numeric, usually um, some are all alphabetical, alphabetical. And then the last category, if you are neither an authorized signatory um, nor a, uh, um, an employee, um, but like let's say you're an outside consultant or if you're um, uh, stipend recipient, fellowship recipient, um, or like an outside vendor, we have uh, uh, guests, all uh, grants plus and guests. So you can do that. You won't need anything at the end. Um, and you will get a certificate. You don't need to give those to anybody. But just keep them handy in case you're asked for it in the future. Um, I guess the other thing, I guess kind of, yes? Do uh, students who are receiving stipends from RF also, they're, they're, they're required to take the sexual harassment training as well? Yes, anybody who, yeah. It, it's a little difficult to monitor, but yes, it, 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 anybody who, like, for instance, um, the Poland Springs person or Deer Park person who refills your, you know, brings your new water jug every month, they should take it because they, 
interact with RF employees. But but anyhow, um, that's it's kind of. But um, yeah, I mean, but I'm very concerned about employees and uh, PIs. Um, also, if you um, are here and you're having trouble submitting a timesheet, remember um, that. Uh, uh, I need an updated foreign student or international student letter if you're here on an F1 visa. Um, I can update that for you or you can send it to the RF, either one. Uh, so um, that's about all I have to say really. Um, and again, I'm here on Wednesdays and Thursdays and I'm just going to pass this around. Um, yes. Where and when are you available those days? I like am in uh, Shepherd Hall. Okay. And next to the next office of Adam? It, it is all okay. office, yes. So, um, but, yes. um, so um, I'm going to actually introduce two people, um, Regina Doki. Um, she actually, truth be told, um, whenever I have an immigration uh, concern or question, I always call her because my, my knowledge on the subject is it's not real deep, but she knows a lot more. So um, you know, if you have a question, I very likely I'll get the phone to you. So this is Regina. And this is Victoria Donahue. She is. Um, she actually used to work at the RF um, in our um, employment policy and practice, and she still maintains a very close relationship with us. Um, actually, if I remember you telling me right, you, you went into immigration, you know, all because while working at the RF, you found out something you really liked. Yeah, well, yeah, basically, I used to oversee immigration at RF CUNY, and then I went out on my own and had um, private law practice. But it is from doing that job that um, that's really what pushed me to do just immigration law. So the questions I can't answer related to immigration, I as Vicky. <laughs> so I'll let her speak. Thank you for coming. All right. So um, I've been told that most of you can everybody hear me okay? Okay. I've been told that most of you are um, students with it, you know, interested in figuring out what the next um, step is immigration wise. And would, I would, it would help me if we just went around the room and just briefly um, introduced yourself and tell me what status you're in so I could get, or if you're a supervisor, that that's the case, just so I can get a feel for um, what kind of audience I have. Yeah. Um, I'm, my name is Avika. I did a biomedical engineering master's from here, and I'm an OPT right now. Okay. My name is Lucas. I'm from uh, Department of Physics. Uh, I'm a graduate, um, PhD graduate student. This is my third year. Yeah, you <laughs> I'm assistant professor. I'm on H1B. Okay. I'm uh, Bruce Billard. I direct the Office of Field Experience in the School of Education. Madeline Bennett, F1 School of Engineering. Okay. I'm Anne Riali. I'm a professor in the Department of Psychology. Okay. I'm very alone. I'm Matthew Cleaning. I'm Cindy Shank. I'm Bruce Billard. Okay. I want him for mathematics, adjunct F1. You're an adjunct and you're F1? Yeah. Okay. I'm Karen Wright. I am a pathologist and I practice KX. I'm Sabi Chakrabarty, physiology, uh, H1B. Okay. Uh, Javon Smith, uh, mathematics, adjunct OPT. I'm um, Kaiser Soraya Santi, I am J1, uh, postdoc physiology. Okay. Israel. Go ahead, I'm sorry, go ahead. Israel Delgado, uh, English Language Institute. Okay, that's for your name. Do you want the RF? Like, yeah, okay. Um, back there? I'm Jean Weiss, I'm an academic advisor. Okay. I'm Propal, um, I'm an economics at H1. Okay. I'm going to be working on one. I'm on J1 Utah. I'm on I'm Yu Hao, uh, the Nora President. I'm the Red Star Office of International Students. Okay. Mary Paul Marula, the Office of International Students. Pauline Pabone, Information Center, Samantha. I'm Warren Kennedy, I'm a postdoc in biomedical engineering on the day one. Okay. Uh, Mark Harwood, I'm a postdoc in the next one. Okay. Well, back there, somebody missed. Yeah. I'm a researcher, 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 I'm a